Hi, everyone. Dr. Liz here. Today is a mini episode, which means I just answer a question that I get pretty frequently and give my thoughts about it. It's a very, very quick episode. So today's question is whether subliminal hypnosis is effective. Now, what is subliminal hypnosis? It's the kind that you listen to where it sounds like you're just listening to music or ocean sound, and the words are what they call sub-auditory level. So the words are there, they're underneath, but you're not actually hearing the words like you're hearing me right now. So from a recording perspective, when I usually am doing a recording, I lower the music so that it's background music, so that you can hear the words clearly. The music doesn't distract from the words. Subliminal reverses that. You hear the music or the ocean sound and not the words. Now, the very first hypnosis I ever bought was a subliminal hypnosis. It was for my daughter, who was eight at the time. She had all of a sudden developed this fear of heights. She wouldn't go on play structure. She wouldn't go anywhere up high. And I wasn't even certified in hypnosis, but I started doing some internet research and ran across this and thought, well, I might as well try this. This had been going on for several months and nothing else seemed to really be working, including like encouragement. (laughs) Okay, she didn't she didn't really give a shit about how much I encouraged her and told her she was safe and I would help her and all that good stuff. So I downloaded it. I burned it onto a CD And I told her what it was. I said, this is going to help you with your fear of heights. And it's just going to sound like ocean sounds. And I would put it on for her while she fell asleep. Well, a couple weeks later, up she goes on a play structure. And then she went on a zip line at like a small park that we went to. I mean, her fear of heights seemed to truly disappear that easily. So I thought, this is fantastic. Do I believe they work? Yes, I do. Is there research on them? There is actually some research. It tends to be older is what I found. You know, there's research topics that come in and out of fashion and subliminal hypnosis is one of those. So I did find some research, particularly around subliminal stimuli and dreams. So they would, you know, flash these images and things at a speed where someone couldn't consciously perceive them and then ask them to draw what showed up in their dreams the next morning. And sure enough, statistically speaking, they would draw some of the symbols that were flashed far more than anything else. So they were like, yeah, it works. Okay, we know subliminal stuff goes on in advertising. Like the advertising world is all over subliminal stuff. They cue us in all kinds of ways. So could it be used for your benefit as well? Absolutely. I do believe that it could be. So that's my quick opinion. Now, that also means that you can play a hypnosis file while you sleep. I should probably do a whole nother mini episode on that one because your mind is absorbing that material. So that's my quick opinion on subliminal hypnosis. I do not offer any on my site, but I do offer the regular kind. If you'd like to get one and try it out, you can get a free one over on my website, drlizhypnosis.com. But it is the regular type where you hear the words and the music is background. All right, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful week. Peace. I hope you truly enjoyed today's episode. Remember that you can get free hypnosis downloads over at my website, drlizhypnosis.com, D-R-L-I-Z hypnosis.com. I work all over the world doing hypnosis. So if you're interested in working with me, please schedule a free consultation over at my website and we'll see what your goals are and if I can be of service to you in helping you reach them. Finally, if you liked today's episode, please subscribe to the podcast or tell a friend. That way, more and more people learn about the power of hypnosis. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Peace.